All right, uh, here's our Movement Monday video. I'm uh, teaching here in Phoenix, Arizona, or Scottsdale, I think, I'm not sure, at the Rehab to Performance Sports Summit, doing the talk on uh, pathomechanic to shoulder injuries in CrossFit. So for our Movement Monday, I thought I would go over um, one of the ones that we're gonna, we're gonna show in the actual seminar, and that's to work on in what we would call an active hang. So we got our uh, model here. Let's do the passive hang first. We're gonna start, like a lot of people, they do an actual hang, the body weight's just too much. And so the muscles that pull the shoulder blades down, actually they're pulling the torso up, um, they get tired and then you end up just kind of hanging in this position. So she'll show a squatting crappy hang where she's just sitting like this. Her lat, her lower trap, and another muscle called the serratus anterior are no longer holding the torso in place. And what that does is now she's just hanging on rotator cuff and shoulder cap. So go ahead and pull up. And that actually causes a lot of injuries. What we wanna be doing, even if you are a crossfitter or not, but you're, you do pull-ups, you wanna be working on an active hang. And for a lot of people, body weight is just too much, myself included. So I'm gonna show you two cool exercises that you can use to start strengthening that active hang so that you're able to do pull-ups, kipping pull-ups, toes to bar, whatever you wanna do, in a way that's safe and protective of the shoulder. So she's gonna basically grab the bar and her pull-up uh, with. She'll put the feet just in front of the bar and now she's going to pull those shoulders down. Yep. So you can see if you come on over here, you can see she's keeping the shoulders away from the ears. So if she shows a crappy hang first, that shoulder's up here. If she active hangs, that lower trap, the lat and serratus are actually pulling the trunk up. Now she doesn't have to overuse these guys and she's just cranking these muscles on right here. It's a great, great move. Go ahead and rest for a second. So you can do endurance holds. You should be able to hold that, a squat one, if you want to do a lot of pull-up stuff, you should be able to hold that for probably 60 seconds. You should be able to hold your body weight in an active hang for about 30 seconds. So you can work up to that. I typically will start off with somebody with what I call reverse Tabata, 10 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, eight to 10 rounds, right? If you want to spice it up a little bit and start staggering the sides, make it a little harder, we can do essentially marching in that position. So we go ahead and back down there. She's still gonna find this good active hang. She's gonna get that posterior pelvic tilt like the gymnastics move. And now with control, she's gonna keep alternating back and forth. Bring the camera back over here. So what we wanna do is you wanna be able to keep this engaged so that you don't see a lot of pelvis movement. We want pressure in the belly. We want the obliques activated. And that's actually really challenging the arms as well, too. Good, just go ahead and pull them back up. Wonderful, thanks. So there's two really good exercises to train an active hang. We got just a squat hang, and we got marching in that position. If you've got any kind of shoulder pain when you're doing pull-ups, give that a whirl, rest the shoulder a little bit, might treat all you want. See you next Monday.